Okay, so Cannon Boy, game design document. <coughs> Cannon Boy, the game, copy 2011, as well, like this. Uh, after the time of war, will the inventions of war persist? What's the actual nature of a smart weapon? Blah, 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 yada, yada. In a nutshell, the goal of Cannon Boy is simple. Shoot hits four. It's basically, this is dodgeball with uh, walking Victorian cannon. Uh, no one dies. You uh, get a point for hitting your opponent with a, uh, is there any way to slow this down a little bit? I, I set my time so this is a much faster computer than I have at home. Oh. I've got, so anyway, um, I, guess I could do this. Yeah. yeah. So uh, basically, you shoot hit store up, uh, just don't hold space down. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Cannon Boy runs around and stuff. Uh, it's just a Civil War cannon with legs. It's kind of steampunk. A uh, tune shader. It's based upon the comic books. Classic dodgeball. Civil War cannon. Point is to stop hopefully knocking him down with a satisfying Victorian flank. Notice any player who does not get up within three seconds of the grace period may be hit and scored upon again and again and again. Loser. <laughs> if you need ammo, no problem. It's laying all over the battlefield. You just go and eat it like a bird eating a worm. Uh, there will be uh, real world physics in here, cause and effect. You can trip over stuff. A uh, single player would consist of tutorials in the form of uh, carnival uh, shooting galleries, duck hunts, onslaughts, get zombies. Uh, this all takes place in a post-apocalyptic world. Uh, Cannon Boy and uh, the uh, smart weapons are the only things that work. Multiplayer would go through unilateral, typical capture the banner, skull tag, king of the hill. Character is Cannon Boy. Cannon Boy. <coughs> is uh, self-explanatory. Uh, he has an antagonist or a protagonist or an ally, depending upon what he's going to be. Um, Gatling Guy. Gatling Guy doesn't have the same uh, hit power that Cannon Boy has, so, but he can rack up a lot of scoring by strafing. Uh, upgrades. Uh, technologically flying suits. Stuff like this. And, uh, uh, like, you know, it's what can I say? It's an iron clad that flies. <laughs> so, weapons, iron cannonball, uh, shoot, knock him down for three points, high explosive cannonball, you load it up, you swallow it for too long, and it explodes inside of you, you're hit. The skull is when you can't get any other animal, you can always get the skull, hit with a skull, one point, but it doesn't really do any real damage. Uh, air strikes. Uh, type of uh, birds. You can call down a flock of birds to poop on the other guy. Uh, <laughs> sky sharks. Sky sharks are a little bit heavier duty. Uh, they have uh, uh, heat sinking missiles and stuff that uh, kind of pursue you. The environment's post apocalyptic. Uh, there's kind of a, a eco tinge to it. Uh, everything's bad now. You just get dead buildings and stuff. Sound effects. So for a character, we have the uh, uh, clanking, whiz gear kind of stuff from uh, Victorian eras. Weapons, whistling, heavy metal lit fuses, deep booming Gatling guns, environmental wind, and stuff like that. The music would be like uh, uh, Serge Prokofiev's uh, Lieutenant PG Suite or British military brass band music. The music of Warner Brother cartoons, Raymond Scott, or Swirl and Zippers. So in summary, Cannon Boy is the action adventure steampunk dodgeball, multi-platform hopefully, now I'm thinking phones and handhelds and eye appliances. So uh, and that's the end, that's Cannon Boy. If you had a question about how he got that handprint on his butt, that's in comic book number two. <laughs>
or a quiz. The quiz would be like a Myers-Briggs personality profile, which would assign something to your face like this. This is a description. Hope you can read fast. I don't know how long it's time for. But you're the salt of the earth, front fresh air, O2, did it? And whether you realize it or not, the world is a better place because of people like you. Someday you'll receive your just reward. Uh, red marking pencil, firm, knowledgeable, self-assured, fair, thrive on particulars with things not correct. The eye for detail is untiring and you have a strong sense of right and wrong. You never express yourself in shades of gray. When you leave your mark, others make the gray. The art pencil, you're well-rounded, a bit of a softy. You have the ability to express yourself boldly. You can do fine work and are capable of subtle nuance and shades of gray. When you apply yourself with determination, you tend to shine. But when you're under heavy pressure, you tend to become blunt, revealing a much darker nature. Push too hard, you may even stand. Every 12, study crayon. You're a colorful character, simple, childlike, direct, and sometimes thick. It's quite easy to wear you down, and you hardly ever get the point. Once you do, it's hard. No, it's impossible for you to keep it. You are so immature to carry on a meaningful, meaningful conversation, let alone carry sharp objects. You'll never get a pencil until you grow up. There's no pencil for you. <laughs> Warning, the towel study pencils for entertainment purposes only. Any use or other application of the tenant put forth in this publication may subject you to ridicule, and rightfully so. So <laughs> this is a new take on an old idea. It's irreverent, it's purity, self-deprecating, high quality art assets brought focus, mass appeal, social networking, art and concept by Kurt Mitchell, that's me. And these are all based upon uh, registered copyrighted uh, comic book material. The top stuff pencil, actually, I just started. It's a week old. <laughs> so <laughs> I just finished the uh, uh, art files. I'm going to print with it uh, next week, and it'll be available soon. I, I made a, uh, a stubby pencil Facebook page, which is going to serve as a, like a uh, mothership for all things stubby pencil. Uh, hopefully the, the game will be up there, the quiz will be up there, being able to select your towel will be up there. But hopefully I'm, I'm looking at maybe doing other stuff like uh, doing a stubby pencil version of uh, Angry Birds, something like that. Uh, just real simple casual games and nothing bigger. So that's it.